But a 600 no, horsepower tank, tank at the um, at that stage of the war is actually um, some decent uh, and output for and, a British tank. And um, the reason why it was so long is because that's what they had. That's the the limited. It, it was not a small engine. That's why it had to be so long. It was 10 mm. meters long for the uh, for the hull, um, which meant that uh, to fit all that in. It was a really big engine. That's why they, that was so, so, so long. All right. But diesel electric does solve a lot of torque problems. Yes. Um, because you just pump the volts down the wire and then the electric motors don't have a lot of problem with torque. Mm. Um, so instead of trying to do a um, manual um, you know, gear transmission, um, which would have been uh, quite awful for um, at the time, it was, it was a really smart solution. And, you know, diesel electric is something, I mean, a lot of trains still use it today. Yep. Um, and it did have a habit of catching fire similar to the Porsche Tiger, which mm. also started out with a diesel electric engine. Mm. Uh, TOG-1 had unsprung suspension with the tracks running outside the hull, much like the, uh, the old Mark IV or even the Char V1. Uh, whilst TOG-2 had unsprung torsion bar suspension uh, with side skirts looking much more like a, t a Tilga 2. So we'll see that in some, I'm sure, in the um, photo gallery somewhere.